Welcome back. It is spring break and it's spring break time across central Texas. And if your family has decided to keep it local this year, there are a ton of places that you could check out right in your own backyard. Six News foodie reporter Crystal Pratt is joining us now. Crystal, there are a lot of things to do in Central Texas within minutes of home. People should take advantage of this. They should definitely take advantage of it. I wish I could have told you guys about all the spots to go to, but I've narrowed it down to a few okay. of my favorite what do you spots. Got? So I'm going to start in Salado. It's my favorite little boutique town with so much to do from shopping to breweries to nature walks and more. Salado even has this little pottery spot called Mud Pies Pottery. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and it makes for the perfect date night or a family night out. And they have delicious places to eat. The shed offers a unique tavern experience and they have amazing cocktails there. And two of my favorite menu items from right. the shed happens to happens to be the redneck cheese tray okay which is fantastic and the baked potato pizza i know Ooh. it sounds crazy but it is delicious i'm interested <laughs> and if you're looking for a more fine dining experience in salado there's alexander's craft cocktails and kitchen oh, that place is good yeah it is and the barton house yes can't forget about the barton house there now we're going to head over to waco let's go north yes we will <laughs> where we all know about fixer upper stars chip and joanna silos and magnolia market yes, yes. bring up the silos going Yes, right there, there's yep. that going on, so you could go and check that out. But there is so much more to do there. I'm in love with this little spot to go horseback riding called the Brazos Bluffs Ranch. It offers a unique experience for guests, and the trail rides overlook the Brazos River, and it's so beautiful, especially if you go when the sun is going down. It's nice. fantastic. Ooh, romantic. My, yeah, my favorite, but my favorite spot to check out in Waco is the Mammoth National Museum. It was discovered when someone noticed a huge bone sticking out of the ground in the 70s. Turns out it was a mammoth bone, and they discovered 25 mammoths in that area, a camel and a young saber-toothed tiger, like wow, a saber-toothed yeah, tiger tooth. Yeah, yeah. yeah, well, it seems like they died at the same time, all at the same time. So many animals there due to some kind of natural disaster. I'm not sure of what it was yet, but they're all in that one spot, and the museum was built around okay. that discovery. So you're looking at the dig when you're yes, in there. Yes, and it is so cool, and one of... <clears throat> Another amazing museum is the Mayborn's Children's Museum at the Baylor University campus. And it may be a children's museum, but trust me, the whole family will have fun. There is so much to do in there. It's interactive, keeping the whole family busy for hours. Right. And don't forget Surf Waco. It features the Surf Waco Hotel, the Waco Surf Hotel, cabins, surf houses, a cable park, and allegedly the world's largest lazy river. No, it's true. It, it, it's, it goes circles the whole thing now. Yeah, it says you're out there in the country. Even on their website, they say allegedly though. But I think okay. it, I think it may be the world's largest. Right. Lazy River. <laughs> we haven't measured ones in Alaska or, uh, you know, no, but Argentina. Also, if you have an RV, they have RV hookups out there. Okay. And so it's a great spot to go and surf. Surfing in Texas. Fantastic. Right. And Top Golf is also an option in Waco. And the Union Fu Food Hall is a must visit location if you go. Yeah, a little to bit Waco. of everything there. Yep. Yeah, the food hall is amazing. Let's go to Colleen. Now we're going to go to Colleen. It's home to the biggest military installation in the world, Fort Hood. The post is, it has amazing museums to check out. All you have to do is go to the visitor center, let them know what you want to do there. You could go check out those museums. The Mayborn Science Theater is a state-of-the-art planetarium on the Central Tele Texas College campus. Right. They do laser light and planetarium shows and a 60-foot dome-shaped theater providing a view of the a view of the stars that you can't get in any urban area. Very cool. It is so cool in there. And with Colleen being the melting pot it is, right. so many people coming from different parts of the world, there are so many cultures there and so many different foods to try out and so and, many restaurants. And you can do that anytime because it's indoors, right? It doesn't have to be at night. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Now let's wrap it up. Other ideas, there are a lot of beautiful parks to check out for hiking and more. Chalk, Chalk Ridge Park and Miller Springs Park have great hiking. There's also Dana Peak Mountain Bike and es Esquestrian. Equestrian, Esquestrian? Equestrian yeah. trails. Horseback riding trails out there. And wait there's Lover's Leap in Cameron Park, and they have some amazing trails. And there's also the Cameron Park Zoo. It's a really nice zoo, and if you take your time, it takes about two hours to get through that zoo. Right. So there's tons of options for spring break. And they're if upgrading you're it. Local. The penguins aren't there yet, but they're building an entire penguins sanctuary. They have it's so many be cool amazing. things there. Okay, yeah. what I've learned from you, and you threw a lot at us right now. I know. I need to eat a lot of food, and I need to get outdoors. Yes. That's basically what I've learned. No <laughs> diets and sun. <laughs>